I'm so excited for your first ALA conference. There's so many exciting things that you're gonna encounter. It's gonna be great. But I also know it might be a little bit overwhelming. That's why ALA created the Navigator program. As an ALA navigator, I'm here to guide you through the entire process. The first thing to do is to download the AC app. Now, it's not just an ordinary app. The annual conference, the ALA committee spend a lot of time overloading this app with a lot of useful information. Two of the most important things in my opinion is the schedule where you're able to see everything that you want. The second thing is the CLE codes. The app has other cool features like you're able to find the attendees and the speakers, you're able to connect with them, you're able to find hangouts, and they also try to gamify it so that it's fun. But the most important things in my opinion are those two things which will save you a lot of time from trying to find somebody to ask a question. The second thing new attendees ask is, which session should I attend? There's so many tracks, so many days, what do I do? The conference is so big. The best plan of attack comes down to two things in my opinion. First, look at if there's anything urgent that pertains to your practice or your cases. Go attend that session, meet the speakers, it will change your life. And the second thing is just to pick which track you are on. Most people stay in the same track. They don't jump around multiple times. Now, sometimes you do because there's an exception, but otherwise you burrow down into your own station with your coffee and your snacks, and that becomes your spot for the day. Once you get those two things down, it should already cover 70 to 90% of your entire conference schedule. Then it becomes which training session, which networking event, if there's time that you wanna sneak a way to go meet the vendors or just when are you gonna go to the hotel and take a quick nap one of the biggest mistakes I see people make when they attend these conferences is that they don't go up and ask a question or they don't go and meet the speakers right after the session ends that is probably the most valuable thing get their business card contact them a lot of times they will even send you a sample it's amazing but you cannot forget about your energy level the sessions start sometimes as early as 7 a.m. and it goes all the way until 6 p.m. It's a full 12 hour event that you're constantly focused and engaged and talking and learning. It's kind of like a super intense bar exam for four days. Arguably, it's even more intense. So with that being said, don't eat junk food. You gotta up your snack game like crazy. You gotta have healthy snacks. You gotta have something that will boost your energy and you have to have something that you're looking forward to eat. And you have to have different snacks every single day, every single couple hours. If you burn out the first day, it's a big shame because Thursday and Friday got some big sessions for you. And now there's five things that you cannot forget. The first is meeting the different vendors. It's the vendors, the suppliers, the key resource, the partners, the agents. These are the people who have built an entire practice to help you succeed. They spent a lot of money coming to this conference to help you, to sell to you, to give you free things. Make sure you meet them and learn what they can do to help you. The second thing is the regular networking. Don't be afraid to just go up to somebody, introduce yourself and ask what they're doing. I've attended so many conferences where I met amazing partners that I consistently work with till this day. It's a great opportunity to meet attorneys all around the world and when you meet them and share war stories, you'll find out we're all in the same health just fighting different demons. And the third thing is don't stress out about the cases. I know clients are gonna continue to ask you questions every single hour of the day for a whole week. Well, let them know that you're at this conference asking other leading experts about their case. Enjoy the time, enjoy the space, find out the solutions to their problem. And the fourth thing is think about who else will benefit from these vendors and these speakers. You are here as their ambassador. Bring home the treasures you find here for all of them. And the last thing is to get to know Ayla in general. I know when you're back at home, you don't get the opportunity to meet your local liaison, to meet your local chapter, to see what other Ayla liaison groups are out there and what they're doing. Ayla, the organization is so big with so many talented individuals. Get to know them and get to know what they're doing because that's what's gonna take you to the next level. And those are my top advice for anybody attending ALA conference for the very first time. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.